But this is part two of that part one video. Holy shit. That's fine. Ads pop up and they interrupt the video. But that is fine because then we get to learn about random stuff in the world. Here he comes. Snapping out his confusion. Go for the dragon rush. And it doesn't affect Hapu Coco. Oh, what a shame. Uh, Hapu Coco is just so powerful. So beastly. So manly. He cannot be stopped. He refused to be a... Well, I came in on the last turn. I'm, I thought this through. So I switch out just to get, you know, some more regenerator. Ah, oh, I did think this through. I was not just playing the dumb. So he goes for the earthquake. Obviously not going to do jack shit to Tangy. Yeah, Tangy's just going to eat that up because he's Tangy Fresh. That's actually his nickname, but, you know, here on the bottle stat, you can't keep the nicknames. I mean, I, I'm, I don't know why. I mean, I guess he's just like, well, this ain't fucking dead. I got a flame orb. I mean, I gotta switch out if he's even thinking about that. I don't know, but he's dead. Fuck you, got chomp, you piece of shit. I'm glad to see ya, foul. <laughs> nah, I love Garchomp, that land shark, fucking badass, badassery. Sweet. Oh, he was just waiting to get this in. I don't know why he didn't switch this in earlier to get an opportunity against me. Maybe he just didn't want to risk getting infestation. <laughs> but he goes for the flame charge. He's increasing that speed. Talent flame is just not fast enough. So I throw the leech seeds at him just to get the suckles. Because uh, I was just sacking this guy. I didn't really care. You know, I was just waiting for him to do his thing. But he went for the flame charge. And that's scary. He's getting really fast and shit. So now he outspeeds Top of Coco. And that's a uh, maybe I'm not thinking this through. I mean, he don't need the gale wings now, so we're gonna switch out. Okay, switch back in top of Coco like a fucking jackass because we're just making stupid nonsensical plays here. He could easily go for fucking flare bits and probably Oko my Tapu Coco, but instead he goes for Harry Alex, <laughs> which does jack shit to my Tapu Coco. We get that leash sheet recovery. We're playing like fucking the best game of fucking tag here. This is amazing. Um, can he come at me, bro? And he does. He comes at me with the fucking Z move. Holy shit! This is terrifying. I am scared, frightened for my life. I do not know. Oh no. Can Tapu Coco take this? Will he be able to take the flame charge Z move? <laughs> Ow. That hurt quite a bit, man. We're gonna just work up here in front of this top of Coco like a jackass we really are. Having lols for the memes, for the memes, cause we're just having fun, man. Suck my nuts, you can take your competitive sluts up your own butts. I don't care, it's fun. <laughs> Either way, I like both sides of the coin. I just like having fun in Pokemon. What's wrong with that? Goddamn. He switches out, and here we go for our own Z move. We're about to drill this man. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I switched it to the electric one on this guy. But I usually have. I have Steel Wing on him. <laughs> because, I don't know. I just want to. Like, don't, I mean, judge me if you want. I don't give a shit. I fucking get the fences up. Then what is your fucking earthquake going to do besides Okomi? Nothing. I wish Tapu Coco had like another ability though that wasn't electric terrain so you can like run him with like a Tapu Bulu and shit so you can get the little recovery and other shit like that, you know, fun stuff. What would his ability be though? Lightning Rod would be scary. Like imagine if this thing got Lightning Rod. Holy shit, he's got the solar bling, 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 but it's over of course and I mean... Whatever, that was the dumbest fucking battle of all time, but it was fun. It was fun to watch and experience. Thank you, GG sir. Goodbye.